Welcome to Throne Fall. In this video, we're going through the ultimate beginner guide. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks to help you out with the game. And jumping straight in, don't worry about completing all of the quests that are available on a specific map straight away, as you are barely going to have any perks available and you'll be wasting your time. There's nothing else to it. It's just a straight up waste of time if you are going for all of the quests, especially the harder ones at the very beginning. Instead, if you just do a couple of runs doing the like what you can with the quest until you reach a higher level and unlock some really helpful perks some quests are going to task you with completing a run where the enemies have way more health and way more damage and if you are an inexperienced player you're going to struggle a lot with those quests especially at first and that's because as you level up you will unlock more perks but not only that you unlock the ability to run more than one perk in a single match so just be patient with the quests, try and do as many as you can, but don't rush and just try and force your way to doing all of them. Take it slowly at the start of the game, level up a little bit, unlock some new perks and the ability to run more than one, and you're going to have a much better time doing that. Next up, when you are in a match, the first thing you should do is sort out a bit of income through houses and mills because you're not going to get much gold in the early game and you can hold your own fairly well. You don't need too many towers and stuff at the start. But when you get further in, you will need to build up your defenses. And I would not just focus on the towers or the barracks. What I would recommend is that you sort of build a healthy balance of both. Although because they are mobile, I much prefer the troops you get from the barracks over the towers. Especially because you get a lot more troops when you upgrade the barracks buildings over just having a little bit more health and damage from the towers. It's obviously entirely up to you, but I recommend focusing on the barracks and having your towers as your secondary form of defense. And in Thronefall, I would say you kind of have to pick a build for the run that you're going to be doing. Especially if you're wanting that run to be successful, you'd probably either focus on your towers and your troops dealing more damage, or you and your character dealing more damage. There's not a way, really, especially in the earlier parts of the game, where you can mix everything together and become overpowered. And upgrades are very, very important for making progress. If you choose the wrong upgrade on one of your buildings, you are in for a very bad time. Like, for an example, if you have a bunch of ranged enemies coming in and you've got spearmen, you're more than likely not going to do well. However, if you have faster melee enemies coming in, then spearmen are probably the best to choose. It's all about like building up a strategy and like coming up with a focus for that specific run that you're doing. And just because mills are going to provide income, they're built away from your base, they get destroyed easily, do not sleep on these buildings. When you unlock different things for the upgrades for them, they're going to be a lot more beneficial than people will originally anticipate, especially being new to the game. For an example, there is an upgrade called Scarecrows, and when you have flying enemies coming into the battle, if you've got a mill with Scarecrows, you're going to have some of the best anti-air defense you can get. So definitely do not sleep on the mills and all of their upgrades. And when you're in the middle of the night, you don't just have to stand there and fight. You can actually be like quite defensive with your character. You can just use your character to lure enemies away from your base, as when things start getting destroyed, the entire run starts slowly falling apart. Buildings and troops will always come back when the night is over, so you don't have to worry about rebuilding things that have been destroyed. But for an example, if you've got five houses and they're all at level two, that's going to produce 10 gold per night. And if they all get destroyed, then you're not going to receive any gold. And that's the exact same for all of the income buildings. When one of your income buildings is destroyed, it provides absolutely nothing for that night. And then if at any point your main building gets destroyed, that is game over straight away. That's the only building that will entirely destroy a run when it is destroyed through the middle of the night. Every other one will come back. And on to the next tip, at the start of runs, you do not need to worry about spamming defenses or anything like that. Instead, what I would do is pay attention to the direction that enemies are coming from and focus on fortifying that position. So as an example, if you've got enemies coming in from the left, you're not going to want to go placing buildings on the right. As you make it through further waves, you will have enemies coming from multiple directions. But at the start of the game, you will more than likely be safe every single run to just focus on building defenses from the direction the enemies are coming in from. And I'm going to say it's really, really important to do some practice runs before taking on quests, as the positioning and enemy type doesn't change. So if you make it to the final wave and you die, or even if you're completing runs, then you know exactly what to expect in the next run. 
and you can build defensively around that so you can kind of strategize based on getting practice so for an example if there's a wave coming you know there's a bunch of flying enemies that ruined you early on in a previous run and let's say you have eight gold spare what you might want to do instead of just going and placing down a melee barracks and a couple of houses you might want to focus more on making sure that you can take out the flying enemies by spending your eight gold upgrading your archer production building and overall when it comes to the throne fall the game is very simple it's quite difficult but it's a simple game it's all about doing multiple runs to get the hang of the enemy positioning the attack type and learning exactly how to counter it but not only that taking the right perks into battle is going to be the difference between winning and losing and it definitely comes down to patience when it comes to completing the quests available for each of the maps these maps are going to get harder the further you get into the game and there is also an endless mode where you can practice as well so that you can figure out what kind of builds you want to run which ones are the most powerful for you and your personal playstyle but on that note that is going to do it for this video let me know any other tips you may have in the comments i will see you in the next video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helped you out thank you for watching